Hello guys, welcome to Gadget Buzz and today in this video I will be installing the Gracified UX for the Samsung Galaxy Grand Prime. So let's get started. So first of all you have to uh, go to uh, the recovery mode. You have to press the power button, volume down button and the uh, home button simultaneously. But uh, if you have custom ROM installed, you already know if you tap the reboot button and you can you have choose uh, you have uh, option to choose here and I will hit the recovery and just OK. So it's in, uh, it will be rebooting the recovery mode. And we are uh, in the recovery mode. So this is the recovery mode. First of all, uh, use your basic steps. Go to wipe, uh, advanced wipe, select Dalvik system cache data, no need of internal storage and just swipe. It's done and now uh, locate your uh, Gracified UX ROM wherever you have uh, uh, kept it. So uh, in, in my case I have in, in the downloads folder so I will just go ahead and install it. So it's and uh, this is the Gracified Hybrid uh, 5.1 SMG 530H. So just select this and hit add more zips and uh, then select the hybrid gaps and just swipe to confirm flash so after uh, now aroma installer will begin as you can see in the screen the aroma installer is uh, uh, working and uh, go ahead and hit next and then select i agree then select next uh, you have to ch choose this uh, last option the refresh only because all we have already wiped the system uh, data cache delvic so no need of again wiping uh, so just hit this refresh only option uh, then go to uh, then hit next actually and now you have to select this third option so majority of the people will have uh, if I uh, zoom in and show you majority of the people will have uh, this uh, Samsung Galaxy Grand Prime uh, 3G Duos XCU so just select this and you have to now uh, hit this uh, next button so just hit next and now here you can install the uh, Dolby Atmos or AOSP 7.1 emojis or the Super SU and you can also install the Dream UX uh, UI sound. So I will go ahead and install uh, Dolby Atmos Super SU and I guess it's pre rooted so it's no need, of, no need of installing the Super SU. And I will just install this uh, Dream UX UI sound and just hit next and uh, you have to select the next option again. So it will be installing and so after installing this Gracie X from uh, the gaps uh, will also begin start uh, start to install so just wait till it finishes and as you can see we have installed this uh, ROM so now you have to uh, hit this uh, next again and uh, reboot device after exiting wizard I can hit next and just swipe so guys this is how the uh, boot animation looks like uh, it is kind of looks uh, looks like the galaxy s7 and the s7 h in my opinion so I will be back uh, after setting up this device so stay tuned. So guys uh, this is how the uh, welcome screen looks like and let me just set the language. Uh, select English US and uh, here it is and just hit this next and Okay, the Wi-Fi is working. No issues. And I agree. I don't want Samsung account. And just hit finish. And we are done. Uh, let me just turn on the data. Okay. So we are done installing this uh, ROM. And uh, looks quite awesome actually. Let me see if the camera works. Cancel. 
no camera is not working it says camera failed so I did a camera is not working so we got the first bug and I forgot to install the uh, gaps also so uh, yeah. okay let me install the gaps also uh, if I show you so the gaps installation is also pretty basic go into recovery select the hybrid gaps and just swipe to flash and it's done so I will not install uh, for this moment I will just show you the features of this and let me just go to settings so as you can see this uh, looks really beautiful in my opinion sound notification yeah. and uh, battery okay we also have the alka power saving mode uh, software update no we don't want software updates and it's written uh, device name galaxy on 7 because uh, the rom is ported from the galaxy on 7 that's why it's written as the galaxy on 7 as model number as smg 530 h and the build number is as you can see xcu and originally my uh, the uh, originally my baseband is actually the xxu but um, uh, for installation you have to select that third option only the xcu and this is how it works and let me see if i get some wallpapers yeah the wallpapers are also from the galaxy s7 and then uh, note 7 looks really nice actually and this is the recent tab phone okay it works uh, i don't like this uh, flipboard thing so here are the tools my files and these are my files from the new uh, galaxy note 7 i guess and smart manager is also present let me just clean up okay it's done uh, we also have the dolby atmos uh, as i mentioned i have installed the dolby atmos also so this looks quite awesome actually but the camera is not working guys you can uh, you can't use uh, as your daily driver if camera is not a priority but uh, i would surely recommend to use this rom and uh, look how uh, smooth is this rom is really smooth actually it's working like a charm so yeah so guys that's it for our video and uh, if you have any queries comment down in the comment section below and keep watching gadget bars and subscribe to our channel thank you